very important fluid and it's much more than just a carrier of oxygen. It has a lot of components and they play an important role for our survival and our health. When we look at the composition of blood, it has plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Plasma makes up about 55% of our blood and plasma is mainly water. It's a medium that basically transports various substances. Plasma carries essential nutrients like glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids to where they're needed. It also transports waste products to our kidneys and our liver. Besides these, plasma contains a variety of proteins like albumin, which helps maintain our blood pressure. There's also globulins, which are important for our immune system. This is antibodies. Next is red blood cells. Red blood cells or erythrocytes are the most abundant cells in our body. Their primary role is to carry oxygen from our lungs to our tissues. Their shape of red blood cells is very important. It increases the surface area area so that we can optimize oxygen absorption. Hemoglobin is in is a protein that's in red blood cells and it binds oxygen and carbon dioxide and it's responsible for our blood's red color. Next we have white blood cells. White blood cells, also called leukocytes, are basically our immune system. They're larger but fewer than red blood cells. Each type of white blood cell has a specific role. Some like neutrophils and macrophages are the first responders to an infection. They eat up and destroy pathogens, that's called phagocytosis. Others like lymphocytes are involved in our body's immune memory and also to produce antibodies. Finally, our blood has platelets. Platelets called thrombocytes are small cell fragments that are important for blood clotting. When a blood vessel is injured, platelets go together at the site and clump together to form like a temporary plug. They work together and they prevent excessive bleeding. They also initiate wound healing. Our blood has a lot of different functions and it's not just a transporter. It delivers essential nutrients and oxygen to our cells so that they function properly. Without oxygen, our cells cannot produce energy. Blood also removes waste products and carbon dioxide, preventing toxic buildup in our body. It plays a huge role in our immune system. Our white blood cells, which are part of our blood, are basically the way that we fight off infections and disease. Blood also regulates body temperature by distributing heat across our body. Blood also maintains our pH and electrolyte homeostasis. And so blood is very important and it contains four things. Plasma, that's like the watery part. Red blood cells, which carry oxygen mainly throughout our body. White blood cells, which is basically our immune system. And then platelets, which are important for clotting.